So once you downloaded the data set, I really recommend that you create a folder on your laptop or computer um, and just place that data set into that folder and uh, this folder you will be using over and over again because you know you will be creating new data sets and it makes sense to have only one folder on your computer so that you could easily access the files and you could always locate them on your computer you know so uh, right now we're going to start working with our SAS EG we're going to be using EG for data analysis and uh, let me just find it on my computer SAS EG SAS interface guide so I'm going to open it and give me one second so we'll start with um, creating a new project let's click on it this is done right uh, but we actually need to save that project so that we can have access to it later so as I clicked on save project let's call it um, tutorial for example and now the project is saved but um, it's not complete yet because now we need to tell SAS uh, where we want it to get the data from and also where we want it to save files to you know so uh, we will just click here you know on the address bar and um, just uh, click on Control C and that will, will give us access you know later uh, to this folder through SAS so we'll not actually need to go to that folder to retrieve data but we'll be doing it by just programming sometimes or you know doing different things like that so we'll start by running a libname statement let's click here on new and program so a libname which we'll call libname and let's call it tutorial for example and uh, this is our uh, in the in the quotation marks you have to uh, put uh, the exact path to the folder that you would like uh, to use you know for your data sets SAS data sets and other data sets that you're going to be using for forecasting and you can also put a, a backslash at the end and just end it all with a semicolon and click run so the idea of the libname statement is um, to kind of give a nickname to the physical folder that you have on your computer instead of writing all the time the path to that folder you will be just using the word tutorial you know and that will be it and that will help you to save a lot of time because you know you do not always have to type a lot of information just the word tutorial because sometimes you know uh, let's say Past to the files can be pretty long because you may have a lot of folders on your computer and uh, doing this uh, should actually help you you know save a lot of programming time so we'll ignore this message uh, but we will check the log and the log tells us that uh, the libra uh, tutorial was successfully assigned as follows and that's uh, that's really good news for us uh, because once it said it to us um, it means that uh, we are now good to go because we have our library so once we're done with this we can save our changes and we can start importing the file so file import data and we have to find our file so we'll go to that folder where we put it and we'll find bike sharing daily and just double click on it so right now you see SAS offers us the library, the work library, right? The work library is a temporary library. So every time you create a data set in that library, it will be active only when you have SAS open. Once you close it, the file disappears. If you want to save it on your flash drive, you cannot because it doesn't exist anymore because it's a temporary file. But if you want to have access to your file, all the time if you want to use a flash drive you know to transfer it to another computer let's say then it makes sense to change the work library to the uh, one we just created so let's click on browse because we're going to use the data set for forecasting so it makes sense you know to have it like uh, permanently on our computer and then have access to it whenever we want to so let's um, click on servers local and uh, tutorial that's our library 
uh, we can call that file, let's say, bike uh, data, for example, and click save. Next. This is very important. So here you have to check rename columns to comply with SAS naming conventions. It will be easier for you after that to use the variables because you will see exactly uh, the way SAS called them. So when you code, for example, or when you like do your analysis, you will know exactly which variables you're dealing with and you will know what names SAS refers to them uh, by, you know. So let's click on next. Here you will see uh, some information about the names of the variables and also what types of the variables you have. Like you know that uh, DTE day uh, is a date variable and this is its format, the length is 8, uh, the season is a numerical variable, this is its format, the length and so on. And um, after clicking next we'll click on finish and the dataset is imported. Voila, we have it. Congratulations.